I think that my favorite thing in the entire world, like the entire world, is home renovation shows on HGTV. I just have this like deep love for like home TV. I just love to watch house renovations. It's so much fun. And back in the day, like way back when I first started my channel, I started this series called Fixer Upper where I would renovate your builds. You would make a house, maybe like an older rundown house and we'd have like a sim live there and we'd renovate it to match the sims needs and like flip the house and make the house new again. And I had so much fun doing that. That, but I haven't done it in a few months. We're bringing it back. If you post builds with the hashtag fix me Lil Simsy on the gallery, houses that need to be flipped or renovated, preferably with Sims, maybe even a budget, we will renovate those homes and make them new again for the families. Because here's the concept, right? We make a Sim, we give them a budget, they buy a house, maybe they've got like two parents, one needs an office, they've got three kids and only three bedrooms, so they need an extra one. And we try and renovate the house to suit their needs, but also keeping like realistic renovations, like changing the floor plan, but not like changing the entire shape of the whole house. I think this kind of thing is so fun and I am doing one of um, my least favorite base game homes today but sort of following these rules. I present to you Riverside Roost. <laughs> I think this is one of my least favorite houses in the whole game and the thing is I know what they're going for. Like a lot of Willow Creek is kind of like New Orleans styled architecture. This is called the Camelback House. It exists in real life. If you google it you can see some more examples. I think that it's possible to be pulled off really well. Like this house looks adorable. Our house does not look adorable, but it is a real life sort of style of architecture. This one has two entries as well. This thing does exist in real life, but just because it exists in real life does not mean that it looks good in The Sims. I just don't think it was pulled off well. First of all, I've got some like small minor details that really irk me, like these windows not being even. Like why is one higher up than the other one? Give me one good reason as to why that one is higher up. I don't understand. I also just hate the roof being the default texture. To me, by no fault of this roof texture, it's a cute roof texture. But the fact that it's the default one immediately makes the house look unfinished to me. Like any house that has this roof texture, in my brain I'm like, yeah, they didn't even bother to paint the roof. Which probably isn't true, they just like the roof texture. But like, once you change the color, it looks so much more finished. I don't know, I really dislike this roof texture. <laughs> it's like the default wall, you know? Like this is unfinished. But anyway, they've got the two entryways. They've got kind of a weird layout going on in this main room, because they've got just like the one room that's like the living and the dining, but it's kind of a square, so it's like, laid out in an odd way. Like these rugs being so close together really bugs me. I know that's dumb, but like if this was even rotated that way, it would make me feel happier, but um, it's not, so. The kitchen is outdated. The tile is blue. The house is dark. I don't understand this about EA homes. Like all of these houses they build are always so dark inside. I, I will never get it. Oh, the bathroom. Look at how outdated and gross that tile is. The blue with the beige. They've got this like outdated wallpaper and carpet upstairs. The bathroom is again outdated. And so our goal today is is to renovate this house, update it, you know, as they say on HGTV. <laughs> but also we've got a family who bought it. Now I only have the base game installed right now and when I made this family, I had more packs. So we, um, they're kind of missing some clothes and hairs, but it's okay. I used story mode just to randomize some Sims because I wanted to have like two parents and a couple kids, but I wanted the parents to have like actual jobs. So I used story mode. Kylie doesn't have a job, but she's creative. So she loves art. So we'll make sure she has like some sort of studio space because her wife is in the entertainer career, loves music, is also a genius and a geek though. So we want to have some sort of space for them to work in their home. They've got two kids and the house only has two bedrooms. So we want to add an extra bedroom so the kids can have their own rooms. And they've got a dog named Muffin. So we want to make sure the house has like a nice backyard for the dog. So that's our goal. And we're giving ourselves 30,000 simoleons, which honestly is kind of a lot of money. The house itself costs 38,000. So I think with 30k, look at how bad it looks from the, oh my god. It looks terrible from this view. But I think with 30k, we should be able to add some decent updates and really change the interior of the house. Honestly, half that money's gonna go to the kitchen. In real life, that's what would happen. If you had 30k to do renovations, you would spend it all on the kitchen. Maybe like tear down a single wall and then like update the kitchen and then boom, your house is like 10 times better. But anyway, those are our plans. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in to the renovation. All right, so here we are. We're starting the speed build aspect of this video. The first thing I did was change the entryway. I didn't like the two-sided entryway. I didn't think it looked very good. And honestly, despite my, um, my best efforts to not have to change any like major structural aspects of this build, I did make the second floor have shorter walls. I really didn't like that it had the, the medium wall height up there. It just made it look so weird and tall. And so I did make that shorter. But like, while that doesn't make much sense in real life, um, it was important to me. <laughs> 
So I did that. I painted the house. We changed the roof. I think it looks a lot better just with the paint. I also got rid of the balcony on the right side. It was a two-story balcony and I just got rid of the top half. I think that's possible in real life. Maybe it wasn't safe, so they got rid of it. I don't know. But I just think it looks a lot better not having the like two-story balcony. I think it made a big difference. And I also made an effort to change like a lot of the floor plan. I kept a lot of the things in the same place, like the kitchen's in the same place, uh, the dining switch sides of the house, living room's in the same place, but I also switched where the master bedroom is. So downstairs was one kid's room and upstairs was one master bedroom. And I swapped it so the downstairs was the master bedroom and the upstairs had two kids rooms because I wanted to have that extra bedroom and I thought it made sense to have like the two kids rooms upstairs because it could fit them and it, it looked cute. So we switched it so the kids rooms are upstairs. I also, did I manage to fit in a third bathroom? I think we fit in a third bathroom and we have the office. So we added a bunch of things and I didn't actually add any extra space to the house. Like I didn't put on an extension. I just sort of like reworked the floor plan to be more suitable towards this family because they wanted to have that office space. They wanted to have the extra bedroom. So we just took what we had and we sort of um, adjusted it to be a little bit better. And the thing is in the beginning of this, I was kind of going willy nilly with money, <laughs> spending what I wanted to because I was like, I got 30K, I'll be fine. And then of course, towards the end, I was like, wait a minute, I only have 30K, I am not fine. Um, so I ended up using debug to landscape because then it was free. So big brain. Um, we also had to sort of sacrifice a little bit when it came to like adding in different things like wall art because we didn't have any money. Although in real life, in this sort of show, when they furnish the houses, they don't actually like furnish them for them. They don't get to keep the furniture. They just stage the house and then the family could like buy some of the furniture if they wanted to. So the house isn't actually like furnished by Chip and Joanna Gaines for the most part, unless they do buy all the furniture, but they just stage it and then they can choose to keep what they want to keep, but they have to pay for it outside of the budget they've already set, you know? So I just, I staged the house with my limited budget and <laughs> I didn't really do that good of a job. I mean, in real life, all the money would go to like the architectural changes, like adjusting the roof and like redoing the floor plan. But like, there's not a lot of money to be spent to demolish a wall and then move it somewhere else in The Sims. Whereas in real life, that's like the kicker, you know, is, is the architectural, like fixing the plumbing and electrical and like moving the wall and blah, blah, blah. But in The Sims, like you just pick it up and move it and it charges you nothing. <laughs> Absolutely no money to do that. I was making jokes too, because I changed the railings on the porch and I actually got money back for doing it because I used a cheaper railing, which is just not how it would work in real life. Like in real life, you'd probably like hire like some sort of carpenter to do it and like <laughs> make it all fancy and be su super expensive. But in The Sims, it's like, I'm actually getting paid to switch these railings out. Only like 20 simoleons, but I'm, I'm getting paid to switch out the railings to cheaper ones. I don't mind though. I will spend the money on furniture. Oh, and God, looking at the kitchen, I had to change the sink and stove and stuff to cheaper ones because we couldn't afford it at the end. So I, I bought like expensive stove and, and fridge and things. And then towards the end, I was like, I gotta make this cheaper. I don't have any money for a TV. <laughs> I can't afford an easel for my kid's room. I need to make a cheaper one. I also used a couple packs. I used cats and dogs for sure because they have a dog named Muffin. God, I love that dog. I think I use Seasons as well. I guess we'll see as things come through and, and add them. I definitely tried to use mostly base game, but uh, we all know that I'm not so good at that. Although I did do a base game build for this weekend. So I'm just saying. Speaking of this weekend, my birthday is on Friday. I am turning 21. Oh, university. I saw curtains. There we go. University as well. Anyway, my 21st birthday is on a Friday. I'm going to record a video where I bake myself a cake like right now. Like I'm going to finish this and then go make a cake. I don't know if I've got enough time to do it because I have to like move my entire setup. I'm gonna move my camera and like this mic and all of that downstairs to my kitchen to record it. So who knows if I can stream tonight because I might be um, set up less, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm gonna bake a cake and I just, I meant to do it yesterday, but then like the setting up of it took too long. So I didn't get a chance to do it before I had a stream. So then I didn't even bother. And like, I just, this cake has been kind of the bane of my existence this week, but like, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I don't have any birthday plans aside from this cake, so it's all I've got. I was supposed to go see my boyfriend this year. He lives in the UK and I was gonna go see him this August, obviously, um, for my birthday because uh, I haven't seen him in many months, but then um, the pandemic isn't safe to travel. This is the third flight that I've had to see him be canceled. I haven't seen him in months. <laughs> it's, it's not so
so fun, but it's okay. We make we make do. I'll just hang out all by myself on my birthday. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with anybody on my birthday. I'm fine. I didn't want to see anyone, not even my family. I'm fine. I'll just sit here by myself alone with my cat in my house. I'm fine. I am gonna stream though on my birthday, so I won't be alone. Don't worry. <laughs> Follow me on Twitch. Honestly, streaming has been such this like huge relief and wonderful thing for me like during quarantine and stuff. I've always streamed every day, but like now streaming daily has been such like a, a important constant in my life because like everything kind of um, became not normal all at once. Like I graduated university, so I lost that constant. I can't see my boyfriend at all, so I lost that. And like streaming has just been this wonderful constant. Like every day at 4 p.m. I go live and it's nice to have that. It's kind of weird. I mean, I'm very lucky to be able to work from home just in general and like during the pandemic, especially to have a job is very good. It's just a weird time <laughs> to like be constantly alone and um, alone alone. Yeah, not, not very fun. Don't recommend. Um, but anyway, I hope you're all doing well. And I know school is starting back up for some of you. So um, best of luck to you with that. I know many of you are doing it all online. So wishing you luck for this school year. To be honest, I am real glad I made it out of there last year. Like I graduated last semester, so I am free. <laughs> I, I got to miss out on this part. To be honest, I feel really terrible for the high school seniors that graduated like this year and are starting university now. You really just got the short end of the stick in every sense. Like you missed your own graduation. You missed your prom. You didn't get any like high school senior stuff. Stuff. Now you're missing out on like the freshman year of college stuff like it just I'm really sorry Genuinely like from the bottom of my heart really really sorry for you like that's terrible at least you'll have a story, right? <laughs> at least at some point you can tell your grandkids like back when I was your age I didn't even get a graduation because there was a pandemic. I don't know. It's terrible terrible timing But at least we can joke about it, right? <laughs> I I like to think about the possibility of someone watching this video in the future when things have calmed down like hopefully like next year You know fingers crossed and then being like, haha, remember that losers? Like, <laughs> don't have that problem for me anymore because it's 2021 and everything is safe and fine. So hopefully, um, if <laughs> I'm gonna like jinx it. If you're watching this in 2021, how are things? You guys all right? Hopefully. Again, I'm really sorry for jinxing it if I did. Oh God. Also looking back at this build as I'm doing the rooms and stuff, it's making me laugh inside at like how much money I'm just willing to spend right now. I'm like, yeah, I'll put a painting on the wall and an expensive chair and I'll I'll grab this expensive plant I don't know and and then like cut to me in like 10 minutes where I'm like, oh my god I can't afford to have a plant <laughs> and I'm like trying to delete things and save money somehow Yeah, it always goes like that with sims builds though, right? You start out and you're like, oh, I've got 30,000 simoleons I'm fine and then you actually start furnishing and you're like, oh my god. I only have 30,000 simoleons I am not fine. I am not fine at all but we're upstairs now, I'm working on one of the kids' bedrooms, and I based this entire room off of that cow plant poster. I was like, I want this room to be cow plant poster themed. So I took the color from it, like that teal color and like the greens, and we used that to decorate the bedroom. I think it turned out pretty cute. There are two kids, one gets this green room, I think the other one has a pink room. I don't care which one stays in which, they're both just two kids' rooms. And because they've got the double beds, they're kind of like transitional, like could become teens' rooms, which I like doing. I feel like in real life, that's kind of a thing people go for, is to like maybe just, if you're gonna buy your kid a full-size bed, buy the full-size bed when they're a kid so then they can kind of grow into it as they get older. I didn't have that. I had a twin size bed like my whole life, but in my senior year of high school I got a full size bed so not to brag and now I've got a queen size bed. I'm just saying there's just double beds in the sims. There's no like full queen king size beds. There's just one sim or two sim. <laughs> That's all. But I think it makes sense to give the kids all beds. Actually, I think the other kid only has a single bed. So maybe I'm a liar. Maybe like this sim is a little bit older. Like this one's like 13. So still a kid, but like an older kid and the other one's like eight. So they get a single bed because they're only like eight. I think that makes sense. Sure, we'll pretend. I forget the kids' names too. I really like, I didn't make these sims, you know? Like I just went into cast and I was like, all right, story mode, here's one sim, here's two sims, here's their genetics, make me two kids. All right, those are my sims. <laughs> I didn't dress them. I just was like, I just wanna have like the idea that there's two kids. All right, now I know that there's two and one of them's creative, awesome. Like I just, I was not uh, interested in making sims. <laughs> I never am though. Like I never really like love making Sims in The Sims 4. I'm I'm definitely more of a builder. I just don't think I'm good at making Sims. And like for a thing like this, I'm never gonna play with these Sims. Like they just exist solely to drive the storyline of this video. <laughs> I could have at the very least like given them everyday outfits. I think one of them's like wearing a bathrobe, you know? I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're very nice people. Although one of them is mean. 
One of the moms is mean. So maybe they're not very nice people. <laughs> One of them is literally a mean person. All right, never mind. My bad. Okay, this room though, I really enjoyed decorating. I used that like pink bed from Parenthood and I used that rug from Backyard Stuff. I definitely used way too many packs in this. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I used Eco Lifestyle. I used some stuff packs, like oopsies. Um, but I really liked the color scheme of the room. It looks cute, doesn't it? Like that, that rug really ties it all together. It's great. Like I'm super into it. <laughs> But I like the room, and again, this room could very easily, like, grow up with the kid as they become a teenager, because you could just get rid of the dollhouse and Blarfy and, like, I don't know, give them a, a bookshelf instead, I don't know. Like, <laughs> what are teens like? Guitars, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. The other issue that I face, though, with this house is the fact that the master bedroom is huge. Like, that bedroom downstairs is absolutely enormous, and I didn't want to make the house smaller. I think most of the time, if I was doing this, like, for a regular house build, I'd be like, oh no, this room is giant, let me make it smaller so that I don't have to furnish and have this giant empty room. But because I was trying to like use realistic renovations, I didn't wanna like shrink the extension at the back. I'm not gonna like cut off a part of the house, that's ridiculous. No one would ever do that, <laughs> ever. Especially just to cut off like one tile does not make sense in the slightest. Like most people in real life would take that like additional extra foot if possible. Like you're more likely to add just the one extra foot than to take it away, obviously. So I struggled with furnishing that room because I didn't have the money to like furnish it furnish it but I didn't want it to look empty so I put this giant rug which kind of helps but like that was definitely a struggle was that room because it was just so big <laughs> and I didn't know like how to put more stuff in it because I was so running out of money because here I was I was getting to have like 6,000 simoleons left and I was like I gotta do a bedroom still I have to do the office space still and then I made a really dumb choice and I spent 3,000 simoleons on a hot tub but I decided that it made a lot of sense and that they deserved it because when else do you get the chance to put a hot tub in a sims build and i thought that this house really well suited that base game like the anniversary update hot tub i was like wait a minute these people can pull it off and so i spent three thousand simoleons on a hot tub which again was maybe a poor financial decision but i think it was worth it it was cute there's even like a table outside to sit down i might have even gotten monkey bars i don't remember but i wanted to have like an actual nice backyard i always say this but i feel like when you're doing cheap house Houses, the backyard always suffers and that's really sad because like obviously it makes sense to put all your money into the interior because then you can like afford a better TV or whatever and actually benefits your sims but it's nice to actually have a like nice finished outdoor space in the sims I think it makes the house look so much more done and like just good in general to have that actual outdoor space. So I always try to prioritize having an actual outdoor space, but you can see me now getting rid of the fridge and stuff and replacing it with a cheaper one. And like, I we really ran out of money. It was pretty bad, but we got there. We finished the house in the end. It's just missing some like wall decorations and stuff, you know? You could always, if you were gonna play in it, like put up photos of your Sims if you wanted to. We talked about that in my stream. I was streaming this on Twitch, by the way. And people were like, what if you just got photos of them? But I decided because one, um, none of them were dressed, <laughs> but two, like, most of the time when I build houses, I'm building them like for you guys to download. So while I renovated this house like for that family, really I'm making it for you guys if you wanted to use it. And so like no one's gonna play with this family. It'd be very weird to like have their photos up on the wall. You could just delete them, but like I figure maybe if you wanted to plan it, you could put your own photos up. So I didn't do that. I don't know. Maybe if I ever like actually have a family, I could make more of an effort to put their photos on the wall. But like with these Sims, no one cares about these Sims. They don't need their family portraits up. And I'd have to dress them and no one wants to do that like it would just be terrible so I didn't bother but you can see me now using debug to landscape a little bit I think debug landscaping is the most amazing blessing <laughs> that they have ever given us because you can landscape for free like in real sims games normal sims games without cheats like this the landscaping is such an expense like you just cannot afford to have bushes it looks so empty and sad when you don't have the landscaping and once you use debug and you get the free landscaping it just oh my god what a difference it makes, you know? And so I'm very glad that I could use this. I know it's kind of cheaty to put like debug landscaping in, but we gave ourselves a budget. We didn't say no debug, okay? That's a different challenge. That's a whole other different concept. I will use debug if I want to. And to access this, by the way, if you type in testing cheats on bb.show hidden objects and then bb.show live edit objects, you can access this like super extended debug catalog in the build mode and it gives you access to like all those plants and all this stuff. You Google those cheats if you forgot what I said. It'll be easier for you to find. But now we are back. We have the original house here still and we're gonna place down the new- oh, I don't have 
any packs and hang on I need to re-enable my packs all right now we can place the actual finished build down and here we have the updated version no I swear the mailbox was in the right spot oh I'm gonna freak out why, why did the mailbox place right there? Anyway, we've got things like a duck. We have this wonderful, fully furnished backyard, including a hot tub. I am so glad I put this hot tub down. You know what? I think it's because I had move objects wasn't on. Because look, this column's also missing. <laughs> Hang on. Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. That's more like it. Okay. See and look this is oh, thank god <laughs> The mailbox is in the right spot, too. Okay place with move objects on then but when you come inside the house you walk into this beautiful living room entryway there's a fireplace um there is no tv we are a technology free household well we have we've got a computer <laughs> a sad sad old computer we've also got this office space it has the easel it has the bookshelf it has the guitar so it covers all the bases for the parents plus the kids have like a skill building thing they could use this monkey bars i love the kitchen i think it's so pretty i am so glad that we have a nice kitchen there's a half bath downstairs for everybody to use we've got a cute little dining room i wish that i could have had more things on the walls like right here in particular but i ran out of money so <laughs> i didn't do that the parents bedroom has like just a big bed it's got like a dresser another desk which is good so there's two computers here the dog has a big bed i think the dog bed was smart it makes it feel like more finished in here because it like actually uses the space up in the center of the room that was a chat suggestion so thank you guys for that the parents have their own bathroom with a, with a shower and tub and stuff and then upstairs there's two kids rooms just like a little hallway plus the the bathroom here and the two kids rooms i think these turned out really cute i don't know about this room i think the colors are kind of wacky but it i mean it works. All in all, I think the house looks a lot better. I still don't think it looks that good, but like, <laughs> you know what? It looks like a real house from the outside. I think that you might find this in real life. To be honest, like, if you did, it's not that bad. Like, from the ground view, it's like, oh yeah, cute house. It's only when you kind of scroll back and look at it from, like, up above that you're like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> but most times in real life, that wouldn't happen. So, it happens a lot in The Sims, though. But I, like I said, nothing can be done about this. It just, it, it's what the house looks like. And of course, if you want to download it, it's on my gallery. I'm going to link my fixer upper playlist down below. And if you want to build a house for me, think like base game house combined with like spider web rundown nightmare. If you want to build me one of those houses, post it with the hashtag fix me Lil Simsy on the gallery and maybe I'll renovate it. And again, if you've got a sim and a storyline, like I'll probably pick you. I'm just saying. But on that note, I'm going to go. So please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I miss this. I miss Fixer Upper. This is like my roots, you know? <laughs> it feels good to be back. <laughs>